I ain't got no food, bro. Yo, who the fuck put Michael Jackson in Hello guys, it's Shingen Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'm gonna talk about the new adrenaline drivers, but if you haven't seen my previous videos, you have this one, for example, where I show you why I actually took longer to do everything, because I was kind of a bit sick. Um, in the meanwhile, my 5600X died, died, it completely just died, just because I just sent an email to AMD to actually tell them what happened and to ask them if they could actually make like a, a cross RMA, basically, uh, while um, while coming to pick up my my dead 5600X, they could actually leave already uh, a new one, okay? Now, for today's video, we have uh, the usual review of the drivers, Adrenaline 21.11.1. As I say in all my videos. As I say in all my videos, 21 is the year 2021. 21 is the year 2021. 11 is the month November. And 1 is the revision in that same month. So the first revision of November. And well, before proceeding, let me just tell you that this driver version is a yes. And also a big fat no, in, in my, my opinion. opinion. And I'll tell you why, right after the sponsor of today's video. Sponsoring today's video, we have GVG Mall. Now with their new 11.11 .11 promotion, where you can use my SKG discount code and get 30% off, making your Windows 10 Pro only $13. After getting the key, you'll have it in your profile. And all you need to do is go to your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. So guys, basically the S is due to having more performance in one scenario, one specific scenario, and the other is because in certain cards, the performance is really, really lower than the 21.10.2, which are the recommended drivers. Just take in consideration that I'm using Windows 11 to test. Everything that I will be testing further will be using Windows 11, okay? With all the patches done and so on, so on, so on, okay? so. That's basically it. But well, let's go to the release notes first. But if you don't want to watch the release notes, well, simply go and skip, go to the end of the video where you actually have the performance comparisons, okay? Which are interesting ones, at least for the 5700XT. And well, as for support, we have support for Call of Duty Vanguard and Forza Horizon 5, in which we have up to 23% increase in performance in Forza Horizon 5, of course, 4K extreme settings using the software Adrenaline 21.11.1 on the 16GB RX 6800 XT versus the previous software driver version 21.10.2. So basically we have up to 23% performance increase at 4K which is a lot actually. Well, but at the same time it is just for the 6800 XT and that 4K extreme settings and it is up to well, I could, I, I actually wanted to test the, um, the Forza Horizon 5, but as you can see, I didn't, I didn't buy the, the premium version, so I will only be able to test it tomorrow, but as you can see here on Steam, it is just opened on the 9th, okay, so it is the 8th today, so only tomorrow I could test it, but I do believe AMD that the performance is up to 23% faster, okay? Now, as for the fixed issues, we have only two fixed issues which are, users may experience display corruption issues when setting their Samsung Odyssey G9 C49G95T monitor to 5120 per 1440 240Hz. So this, is, this was a, an acknowledged problem in the earlier drivers and it seems to be fixed now. If you have the G9 and if you had this problem, let me know in the comment section if it still persists or not, okay? The second one is, while playing Call of Duty Warzone, some users may observe visual artifacts when moving the cursor, the cursor, I think it's how it's pronounced, in the in-game menu. So, if you were having these problems, it is most likely fixed. I never had these problems in Warzone, but I don't play Warzone much, so... Yeah, once again, comment section, let me know if it is working or not. As for the known issues, we have quite a lot. And the first one is, during Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy gameplay, some users may experience driver timeouts on some AMD graphics products such as the 5500 XT. A temporary workaround is to disable the Radeon anti-lag feature in the software. Some users may experience elevated disk space consumption by multimedia Athena Dumps folder. So, this error still persists from the earlier drivers, so yeah, still here. 
Visual artifacts may be observed while playing Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War on some AMD graphics products such as the RX 6800M graphics, a problem that still persists as well. Now, while playing player unknowns battlegrounds with multiple displays connected in extended mode, Raiden software may become unresponsive when blah 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 blah. A temporary workaround is to press the Alt plus R keyboard shortcut if this happens. So yeah, basically another problem that still persists from like three or four drivers ago. Enhanced sync makeup. I think in 2050 we still gonna have this problem. Okay, it is what it is. And well, guys, that's basically it. And well, in terms of release notes, it seems okay. Okay, some is some issues fixed, some others not fixed at all. But in terms of performance, like I said, well, for the RX 6000 series, at least with my 6800, it is. Fine, it is fine, it works decently fine, but in a, a short amount of time I had like two system reboots, two, two random system reboots that I didn't have before with the 21.10.2, the computer will, will, would just be on idle and bam, reboot, out of nothing. This happened two times, okay? This did not happen with the 21.10.2, not a single time, okay? So that's a problem, okay? But even taking off that problem, putting it aside, you have the 5700 XT problem, which is way lower performance. I thought I was doing something wrong. Uh, I even uninstalled the drivers again and installed them and installed once again the chipset drivers and retested. And yeah, basically the 21.11.1 drivers, at least in these two games that I tested, Rainbow Six Siege and PUBG, offer way lower performance. In some scenarios, lower performance with higher GPU power draw, which is unacceptable. Basically, go to the recommended ones, 21.10.2, and enjoy better performance, better temperatures, and way lower power draw in most scenarios. So, it is a win-win situation to just keep the 21.10.2 at, le at least in terms of performance, okay? Anyway, Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps the channel and helps me, of course. Leave your comment in the comment section, let me know what's your experience with these drivers because that's why I make these videos, for us to share experiences. And well, let's go and watch the comparison uh, of the performance even more on the 5700 XT, okay? Thanks a lot, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video, guys.